Hey everyone, so guess where I went today? Ulta! Super exciting. I love Ulta and I haven't been there since May. And that's like really sad because I have a, like a slight obsession with Ulta and I haven't been in so long. Oh well. I'm trying not to spend money. I feel like I buy makeup in like bulk. Like I buy it one month and I buy, I go crazy and I go like everywhere and get a bunch of stuff. And then I have like a lull period where I don't buy any makeup and then I buy a bunch of makeup again. I don't know, it's probably not the smartest way to buy makeup, but this is how I, this is how I roll, guys. This is how I do it. Um, but yeah, so this was like, this Ulta trip was like the last of my money for my job. Like I had a job over the summer. I worked as a swim coach for my local summer league team and this Ulta was like my last paycheck in this. Bye bye. Oh well, that's okay. I'm gonna try not to buy makeup for a while, so you probably won't see me makeup hauls for a while because I have to stop. This is like I have nothing. I like I have like a dollar in my wallet. So yeah, no more makeup for a little while, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, so another reason I don't go to Ulta so much is because it's not that it's like particularly far away from me. It's like 20 minutes from me, and it's in like downtown in the city I live in, and it's like, it's not that it's far away, but it's in a really like busy area, and it's kind of like in a, like tucked into like a bunch of buildings, and it's kind of hard to get to, and I always get lost when I go like downtown. I always like take the wrong street, and then I'm trying to like turn back around, and I can't do a U-turn. I mean, I could do a legal, an illegal U-turn, but I'm not going to do that because I'm like a good driver. I like pay attention, and I follow the rules, and all that good, good stuff. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know, it takes me like forever, it takes me like an extra 20 minutes just to like, like I'll see and I'm like, oh, it's on the other side of the road, how do I get there? So I have to like go through, go through like some building, one time I turned into like a parking, like a parking deck and I couldn't get out, and then to like pay to get out, frustrating, because they couldn't turn around before I like, I don't know, frustrating us, downtown areas stress me out, but that's okay. So yeah, let's just get into this, because this was kind of a long intro, sorry. Alright, I'm going to pull all the stuff out of the bag because this bag is loud and annoying. So let's get started. So Ulta was having like a buy two get one free sale on their Redken hair products and that is the blow dry um, heat protection I use and it's the Satinware blow dry lotion. It looks like this and I don't know if it's like all Ulta's or is it just mine but they don't sell it in like a big regular size bottle which is kind of annoying because I use this stuff a lot so they only have these little like sample size ones and these are four dollars I think yeah four dollars so I mean this lasts you like a month or two it lasts me like a month or two so I mean they do last longer than they you think that they would so this is what I have to use for now but they I was looking around and they had like a blow dry a key protectant but it was a gel and I just don't like gels in my hair that much I, this is a lotion I like that a lot more I feel gels can like grease my hair up a lot more um, so I just don't use that so yeah so they were buy two get one free so I got two um, heat protectant blow dry lotion things um, I was gonna get three but then I looked around for some other little sample things and I found this that I wanted to try and it's called like a line 12 and it's a straightening lotion balm thing looks like that I don't know if I'm able to read it it's probably not gonna focus but it's for medium hair so I guess it's like I don't know what that means exactly but I've never used this and I've never heard anything about it so if you've used this and you like it or even if you don't like it like comment below and tell me what you think about it I haven't used it I probably won't use it for a little while because I've really been into curling my hair lately. I mean, my hair is naturally curly, but I like to curl it with a curling iron and do like big waves because I really, I don't know, I like that look because I have long hair and I think that's really in. So I love that. All right, so moving on, I got two nail polishes and they're both by OPI because I love OPI. They look like this. Um, the first one is a navy blue color and it's Susie Skis in the Pyrenees. Um, you won't be able to see that my camera is really sucking it up tonight um but yeah it's just a really dark navy blue which i love so got that the next one is um lincoln park after dark matte and 
the only reason I got it in matte um, was because they didn't have it like in the original. They were sold out of all like the really pretty colors that I wanted to get, like all the fall colors, like the dark reds and the dark greens and the dark blues and the dark purples. Um, but they had this one off to the side, which was a matte, and I was like, what? I mean, I know I was like, okay, it's a matte color. Great. So I was like, I'll just get that one. And then like when I got in the car, I was reading, and it comes with this little um, paper thing, and I probably should have read it before I bought it, because I probably would not have bought it if I read this. Like it says, you cannot use a base coat, top coat, top coat, or drying products, or hand lotion when wearing matte nail colors. Like, you can't use hand lotion. Like, I use hand lotion every single night, and they're like, it does not, it says, matte by OPI does not wear as long as original OPI nail lacquers. God, it's so, I like, why? Why does it do that? I don't know. That's kind of annoying. I probably wouldn't have got it if I had read that. I would have just waited and got it a different time. It's like too many issues. Whatever. It's still a really pretty color, though. That's like, I'll use it, but that's just kind of annoying. It's kind of a letdown. Whatever. All right, moving on. Um, next thing I got was just some chopsticks. Sticks which is the Nivea Kiss of Smoothness. Looks like this. I had one that was, um, it was yellow, and it was like, it had SPF in it. This one does too. It has like SPF 4, but that one had like SPF 15, and I really liked it, but I lost it. And then I had a thing of Burt's Bees. I really like Burt's Bees, and I left it in my car. Bad idea to leave it in your car when it's sitting at school all day in the middle of a big parking lot getting 95 degree heat on it um so it melted and yeah so i needed a new one and i really liked these nivea ones um so i'm gonna take better care of this one and not leave it in my car so yeah all right the next thing i got um i got some nyx stuff i love nyx um and they were having like buy two get one half off and i feel like they have these sales a lot like because whenever i go there's always a buy two get one half off um, so for NYX, I don't know why I took a breath there. I'm like, it's, when I, I feel like doing these videos, I'm like getting out of breath because I haven't talked in so long because I've had strep throat. So if my voice like cracks, like, uh, like that, I don't know. I feel like it might be doing this, in, yeah, this fat in this video. So if it's doing that, I'm sorry. It's cause I'm just like, this is the first day that I've actually sounded like somewhat like myself. Like, I can, you couldn't even recognize my voice. So, yeah, my voice was so bad, I couldn't even understand myself. It was really bad. <laughs> but I can finally know what I'm saying today, and it doesn't hurt. Because it would hurt to talk. Like, it hurt to swallow. It hurt to talk. Kind of a Yeah. I've been getting so sidetracked. Like, I'm not focused. Like, I'm going off talking about my throat when I'm supposed to be talking about makeup. Sorry. Um... My bad. Okay, let's get back to the meat of the issue. Alright, 